my goal here is to give you nine, if you will, nine items that uh, nine problems in project. And these are common. So let me start off by just giving you a little bit more info here about me. Here I am. Um, I'm a, a senior trainer at the Versal Company. And um, uh, you can see by the picture that uh, I'm a gray beard. Been around a long time, saw a lot of issues in, in the discipline of project management, portfolio management, and of course in the tools of project management. Inadequate baselining. Now, um, baselining, for those of you that don't know, is taking a snapshot of an existing schedule so that as the, the tasks in the project occur and are tracked, you can um, compare the existing state of the project with the baseline state of the project. So you get a feel for where there is variance between the two. Uh, things taking longer than expected, but we'll have finish variance. Tasks that occur earlier or later will have start variance. And if there's a difference in durations, the tasks will have schedule variance. Not only can you see them, but you can also um, uh, see the, the details and the data behind that. Now, in project, get back to the inadequate baseline here. In project, um, when you baseline, it's not always obvious that a baseline exists. So if, for example here, if I were to highlight my two tasks, uh, let, me, let me link them so we got a little bit of a schedule here. Task tab, create a link. And then I'll just highlight these three tasks. Go to my project tab. Set the baseline, the hope for my selected tasks. What I've done is I've just selected a few tasks in my whole list. So I'm using selected tasks. If you're wondering if you can baseline a single task, here's your hint, yes. I'll click on OK. And you know, you, there's no lights that go off. There's no messages that say, you have now baselined, Sam. None of that occurs, it just does it. So baselines by default here in the Gantt chart uh, are not visible. Now, if you go to your Format tab, then you can, you can show them through a little bit of formatting. Format tab, and then under the Bar Styles group, choose the baseline. It'll give you the date that you baselined. And you'll see that now there is a bar representing uh, the baseline and representing the current state of the task. So that's one way to see the baseline. I'm going to turn it off so I can show you yet another type of Gantt chart. This is called the tracking Gantt. We've seen the leveling Gantt. Well, this Gantt chart is going to show us tracking. And once again, I'll filter out all the details of this. Okay, so here is a tracking Gantt. Um, by default, it's going to show us the, uh, the, um, the baseline as well as via tables the idea of variance. Now, right now, this uh, table is, is we've seen no variance because we're not tracking at all. We've seen nothing occur. Watch what happens, guys, when I delay. I'm going to intentionally constrain the two tasks by moving them into the next week. Notice that now you're seeing variance occur. We This is when we wanted to perform the task. Let me zoom in so we can see it. This is when we wanted to perform the first task, but currently it's, it's in a different time period. The difference between those two is variance, start variance and finish variance. 
as the task was delayed, so is it, its successor. And so again, you have variance. Now, if we uh, start performing, start working, and the actual work doesn't match up with the baseline work, that's also a set when you baseline, then you'll see work variance. If uh, there's a difference in cost, you'll see cost variance. Those, those variances that occur are because of changes, the differences between existing and the baseline events. Um, I advise you to use your, your tracking Gantt. That will, is designed to show you this. I also encourage you to use a specific table, the variance table. You can get there by going to the View tab. And then in the tables, there it is, there's variance. Or by right-clicking in your Select All button. Just like in Excel, there's a button above the ID numbers. Right-click, and it shows you the tables that you currently have. Entry is the default, but entry is not going to show you the things that we're looking for. In this case, the variance. Now, I'm going to uh, go ahead and... Uh, Go to the next item. Be careful here with your baseline. Understand it. Get to analyze it through a specific view. The tracking Gantt is a great view for you.